Hi, I'm Alex Frazier, and I founded Pause with Cause. We're an art initiative, but we're a little bit different. We involve the whole community in bolstering up people's confidence and helping shelter animals get seen outside the cages and in everyday places. I started this because my mother had Alzheimer's and I wanted to do something that would increase her sense of purpose and confidence. We started painting, and the funny thing is neither of us knew how, but we really didn't care. We started painting so that she could kind of come outside of her shell a little bit and feel confident again and so that I could build memories. We had so much fun doing that and it really did work. So after she passed away, I had this kind of gaping hole in my heart and I wanted to keep doing it. So I started going out to assisted living centers and working with them. And you'll hear my kitty in the background because she's a chatter. She's also from a shelter. So after I um, started going out to assisted living centers, I met a lovely lady named Carol. And Carol also had Alzheimer's like my mom. And she said to me after her first painting session, you know, this makes you feel like you're more than you thought you were. And for Carol to struggle that hard to put those words together, I knew we had something really purposeful and important going on. This is not just for assisted living centers. It helps every strata of life. It helps every person in every walk of life. We have worked with at-risk youth. We've worked with teens. We've worked with veterans and their spouses experiencing PTSD. We have been contacted recently by this Nahomish County Prosecutor's Office asking us if we might work with them, potentially to break the cycles that those people are in. And oh, I'm so thrilled about that. We've been self-funded up to this point, and it's been kind of a struggle. I've, we've got some really, really wonderful volunteers that work with us and come in to help. But we need to do more. There's more people out there, especially because of COVID, that could really use this kind of help. We've been going to farmers markets and doing some outreach there, meeting people. The other day I met this wonderful girl named Naomi. Naomi is nine years old. She painted for us. And then she came into the Everett Mall where we have an artist studio, which is hosted by the mall. She came in that day and she was looking around. She's with her four siblings. And if I didn't say it, English is her second language. So she was hesitant to speak, but she started looking around. And then all of a sudden her five-year-old brother started jumping up and down and saying, Naomi, Naomi, there it is. And she looked over and in a place of prominence in our studio was her picture. I could just see the smile growing on her face. And that meant the world to me. That little, little moment was a course correction in her life, I truly believe. I think her heart grew five times at that point because somebody see her and someone saw her and knew her self-worth. So that's really what we're trying to do here. And it doesn't matter. The paintings can be beautiful. The paintings can be whimsical. It's just all about getting out there to the community and doing more good and helping more of the shelter pets. There are between seven and eight million shelter animals going through the system every year, and sadly, half of those are euthanized. It doesn't have to be that way. If we can get more of these pets seen outside the cages and in everyday places because people are painting them and because it's bringing joy into their lives, then we could turn this around. Right now, we reach hundreds of people with this art initiative, and I'd like to reach thousands. Cocoon House has approached us, Mary's Place for the Arts, um, Housing Hope. All of these are waiting for us and they have very limited budgets. If we could do more of this with more people, we could build more joy, we could create more of that self-confidence, we might even be able to save lives. I know we've changed a couple lives for youth with it, that were very at risk and some who I honestly thought were at risk for suicide. One whose mother even told me that was the case until she came in and worked with us and we saw her work and applauded her and made her our Artist of the Month. So I know this works. I really appreciate what 100 Women Who Care are doing. I appreciate what you're doing for all of the women of our community. And if I were chosen for this, my group and I would reach out even further. We would make more of these sketched canvases available to elderly, to low income, to youth, to all of the community. And they don't have to be good. They just have to try. It's kind of the secret to our success. You just have to try. So I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you for this wonderful opportunity that you've granted for us. Pause with Cause is here for the community, a community that we love and care about, and I can see you are too. Thank you very much.